Hey everybody, um, it's Harmony Nicole. I know it's been a long time since I've blogged. My excuse is that I moved into a house finally, like I had been talking about. Um, and I just got busy with, you know, taking care of stuff for the house at night and then still doing the workout a couple of times a week. And then I've been traveling to Dallas a lot for work. Uh, that's where I am right now. I'm in my hotel in Dallas and I have no more excuses not to blog. I can't work on my house when I'm here, so I'm going to go ahead and blog tonight. Uh, the subject today, and one of my coworkers actually came up with this, the topic of what men want. We're not going to talk about what women want because there is no answer to that question. I can't even tell you what I want, and I am a woman. So we're going to talk a little bit about what men want first. And obviously not going to paint everybody with the same brush. You know that all men want different things, but we're going to just make, you know, general what you hear from a lot of men, that type of thing. Because it's very interesting to think about what men want and then what they actually end up with. There's a difference between, and this is what my coworker was saying, there's a difference between what men find attractive and then what they can actually build a life around which is really counterproductive because if our brains and our hearts and our bodies are driving us towards one type of individual, but we know that we're never going to end up with that person, that that's not the type of person that we want to be with, we're wasting time, you know, we're hurting people, playing with their emotions, that type of thing. What I'm talking about is you turn on the television and men want thin girl, big boobs, young, you know, tight body, girl who likes to have fun, maybe a girl who is into other girls, um, a girl who's ambitious, who can put you in your place, who can argue with you, uh, who's intelligent. I think that all of those things are things that most men can say, oh yeah, I would love a woman like that. But then they realize, oh, wait a second, I'm supposed to be the provider. So if I have this woman who's trying to take my place as the provider, I'm, I'm not going to be happy with that, in the long run at least. So you see a lot of men end up with people that are just night and day from what they dated. Sometimes you'll have a friend who gets married and it's like, wow, I can't believe they married that person. It's so not their type. And I have seen that over and over and over again. So I don't know if it's when men decide that they want to settle down, that their body or their minds or their hearts or whatever, it makes them go towards a different type of woman then because that's who they want to spend forever with. Or maybe it's a maturity thing. Maybe as men get more mature, they no longer want, you know, the skinny, hot, intelligent party girl because they know that she's going to be a big hassle and that she's not going to want to have kids right away. And that's kind of where a lot of women have issues that are ambitious and do want careers because you have the societal pressure to reproduce and settle down and make a family. But someone such as myself, I'm 30 years old, I'm not dead yet, I'm not old, my joints aren't creaking, you know, there's no reason why I should have to sit at home and be a little wifey type when I still have the energy and the capacity to do exactly what I want, which is not sit at home and be the wifey type. I can still be a good wife, though. I'm just not the type that you see in one of those movies on TV, like in um, What to Expect When You're Expecting, and definitely not like any of those moms. I, I have kittens, so, well, cats, so that's the type of mom I am. I don't have babies. What I mean is that's the type of wife I am. I can still be a good wife, still be loving, still be supportive, still be nurturing to my husband, but I am not going to take a backseat to uh, making decisions or to my career. And that's where I have problems because... When you're in a marriage, even when you don't have kids, you do sometimes have to take a back step to that. And I am struggling with that every single freaking day because I see where I'm at and I see where I could be at with my career. 
but because I'm married, I can't be that. And you, you know, when you get married, you trade in the eyes for we, right? I have to remind myself that every single day. It's so frustrating because there are so many men who trade in the eyes for the we's, but we equals them moving forward. <sighs> yeah, so I haven't blogged in a while and I just decided to rant. I'm sorry, folks. I'll have more stuff this week, maybe some stuff that I've read on the news. There have been some jacked up things happening. 14-year-old killing his teacher. Um, there was another school shooting. Some coach died. Awful stuff happening. And um, I definitely have a lot of opinions, a lot of opinions, as I tend to do with plenty of things. So uh, leave any comments that you have at the bottom. Uh, I am in Dallas, so I do have time this week to answer any questions you have. Uh, oh, by the way, Feedspot, a website that has a lot of different blogs, contacted me this week. And apparently I have 30 followers from them, which is awesome because I have one on Blogspot. I mean, I have plenty of readers, but nobody actually hits the follow button. So, yay, I have followers on Feedspot. So you can see all I think I know on Feedspot as well. Thanks. Have a good week.